hey if you go to my website at this address you can download a free copy of the very same Word document that I use in this video. You can watch the video, pause it, and then practice that technique right then and there. Well anyway, it's there, it's free, and if you want to use it. Well, now let's get on with the lesson. Welcome to How to Create a Per Chapter Table of Contents. This is Part 2, Format first thing we'll do is we'll set up our word tools that we will need. Second thing we'll do, I'll give you a brief understanding of how Word handles formatting from master table of contents to in chapter table of contents. Then we'll set our main in chapter table of contents formats, show you how to apply a few specialty formats, then we'll position our chapter table of contents on the page. Last and most importantly, check our document and update our page numbers. Optionally, you can watch the previous video if you want. Word 2010 Table of Contents, Multi Each Chapter Insert. That's enough for me. Let's get on with the lesson. Okay, and here we are where we left off. Here's our document. We had already inserted our master table of contents, the one that comes in the front of the book. We had also inserted our per chapter tables of contents. First things first, let's set up our tools because we're going to need a few for this. Okay, let's turn on the ruler over here, click ruler. Then from the home tab, we're going to need our paragraph marks. From the view tab, we're going to need two tools. First thing is the navigation pane. Now we need to modify the navigation pane. First thing we do, right click, go down to show heading levels, show heading one. As we can see, our heading ones are also the title of our chapters. This makes changing chapters to different tables of contents one click easy. The next thing we need to do to the navigation pane Move your mouse all the way up until it turns to the little plus. Hold down the left mouse and drag. Pull that baby right off. Okay. Now going all the way to the bottom in the corner when it does the split arrow, you can adjust the bottom. You can go left and right. What you're wanting to do is to get your chapter titles in one little square. Now we're going to hold down the left mouse and drag this down to the bottom corner. Now we are one click away from every chapter. From the view menu, the last tool that we will need and most importantly is split view. If you have never used split view, this is handy and it's easy. Click it, a little bar will appear. Okay, just anywhere, left click again. The top click in there and we're going to go all the way to the top of our document start to look familiar there's our master table of contents in the front of our document click in the bottom and click our fi our first chapter and there's our first chapter table of contents now I'm gonna show you that finishes setting up our, our tools the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you why formatting a table of contents in the chapters gets to be a little tricky. Word 2010 considers all headings in your table of contents to be the same. Meaning, let's go up to our master table of contents, let's select a line, let's just change the font and make it bold. Okay, look what happened in our chapter table of contents. It also changed and mirrored right down to the line length. So what happens if we start in our chapter table of contents and we make a small change. Let's just make it underlined. Looking up on top, yes indeed, it mirrored right to the line length. That's what Word wants to do. There is a way around it though. If we go to our chapter tables of contents and we select select three of them okay if you select more than one and then make any formatting change you want I'm going to change it to Tahoma and 
I'm going to make it super big. Let's go with 14 and bold. Okay, made a lot of changes. Now look upstairs. Nothing. Nothing in the master table of contents changed. This is how we do it. This is the general idea. You format your master table of contents any way you want just so it looks good and you're happy with it. Then you go to per chapter tables of contents and you format chapter by chapter. Let's get a document that I've already formatted the master table of contents and we'll show you how to format the chapter tables of contents. Fast formatter. Here is the same document only I have formatted the master table of contents the way that I wanted to. Alright, now when we go to the chapters as we just saw, yes, our chapter table of contents is formatted themselves mirroring what was in the master table of contents is in the chapter table of contents. Let's get our view, let's get our split window going click alright click in the top there's our master table of contents in the top of the document each window can have its own view setting so I'm going to shrink that down The reason I want the master table of contents up in the top is so that while I'm downstairs fixing our per chapters if I make an oopsie I will be able to see it up here and then click the undo button and fix it. Okay, first thing we do, let me shrink this down just one. Okay, first thing we want to do with our chapter one table of contents, we want to normalize all our text and take out as much specialty formatting as is possible. Okay, the rest of my document is Arial 11. My headings are in Verdana. So in between two headings, I'm going to change all my text to Verdana and I'm going to make it 11 points so that it blends into my document better. Next thing I'm going to take out the bold and the italics. Click the bold and italics buttons three times. First to take out the specialty words then to uniform everything to bold and uniform everything normal. Do italics the same way first to take out the specialty, second time to uniform everything italic, and then to uniform everything normal. Underline you would do the same way. Okay. Next uniform. Right click. Paragraph. Let's get the same kind of spacing in between our lines. I want zero for after and the rest of my document has only one point between lines so I'm going to change that to one point to match the document. Okay, The indentation. Go ahead and put zero. We're going to take all the indentation out because Format Painter is going to do it anyway. So let's click OK. I know it's an ugly square but we start from here and then we put in our specialty stuff. Oh, one word. Let's get home and turn on our paragraph marks. Okay, If you want to change the length of your leader lines, the length, this is how you do it. Now look up here at the number five. You see that little triangle thing, that little kind of like L all right, corner thing in the corner. Put your mouse on it. It says right tab. Do not click that yet. Okay, Let's back up a little. If you select your entire document, I'm keeping my finger down on the left mouse, I'm keeping it down, look up at the number 5, look at the right tab stop. When I take my left finger off the mouse, it's going to turn gray. It just did. See? It almost disappeared, which is why a lot of people miss this. Okay, Putting my mouse over, it says right tab, now click it. Okay, And you can pull your, you can make it as short, or you can make it as lengthy as you wish. It has to be selected and you have to get it as a group. Me, I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Okay. Later on, I'm going to center this, but that's the last thing you do. Now that we have made all the main changes to our table of contents, we slide all the way to the top, double-click the Format Painter, and we 
make the same adjustment, apply that, select the entire thing, go to the next chapter, select the entire thing, and of course go to all the chapters in your document. Go back to chapter 1, hit the escape button to get out of the format painter. We made all those formatting changes and look at the top of our document. Nothing changed. Okay, now we put in our specialty formatting. Myself, I want indents for goldfish and indents for the subheadings. We do this by building it. I'm going to select from goldfish all the way down. I'm going to right click, paragraph, and I'm going to push everything in by 0 0.1 points. I just want a subtle indentation. Go up to Format Painter, double click. Next chapter. Select, put it all in. Next chapter. You get the idea. Do your whole, all the chapters. Now everything, go back to first chapter, hit escape. Now we put in our other indentation. I know this seems tedious, but this is how to do it with no mistakes. You must select a minimum of two lines, right, to, for any of this formatting. Right click, paragraph, everything's at zero, 01. I want zero, 02, just to push it in a little bit. I don't want a big dramatic table of contents. It's all selected. Double click the format painter. Now you can select and apply. Go to your next chapter. See how this works? Okay. And on the last one, you can take you you can click any line that you want. It will now apply that formatting. See, I'm taking them out of order just to show that you can take them out of order if you wish. Go back to chapter one, hit the escape button, get out of the format painter. Okay. Now, what if now if you want to put in bold, italic, or underline, you follow the same process. Select a minimum. I'm going to hold down the control key. Select a minimum of two lines. I'm going to put in three because these are what I want bold anyway. Now, watch what happens. If you select bold, italic, or underline, this same thing is going to occur. I'm going to click bold. Click. We got our bold, but look upstairs. Oh my gosh, it did. It shrank. In order to fix this, and this happens every time, and you fix it the same way every time, one click on the undo button. Three, two, one, click. Your, t your master table of contents has fixed itself, and you still have your bold. I, I, I don't know why that is, but bold, italic, or underline will all do that same behavior. Now, all you have to do, double-click Format Painter, go to the next chapter, put in bold for any anyone that you want bold. Okay, italics is the same way, underline is the same way. Hit Escape. Okay. Now, we need to take out our first line. Now is a good time to do it. Hit delete. And now we can take out our first line uh, that we didn't want. See, no formatting problems, no oopsies. Goes out nice and sweet. Back to chapter one. To position your table of contents, select the whole puppy, all right? no format painter that won't work with this you go up to the home tab it's already left you can put center or you can click all the way to the left it's your table of contents you know what you want maybe you want a picture in this area okay myself i'm going with center i'm going to center it go to the next chapter and yes there we go oops helps if you click the button <laughs> okay and there we have our perfectly formatted chapter tables of contents. Each one unique and each one different from our master table of contents. The last thing you need to do, we inserted a 12 line table of contents with a space after it. You know Word, absolutely everything else in your document got pushed straight down.
So you want to check your document, the end of your page and the beginnings of your page, because you know everything got scooted. See, like right here, I need to make an adjustment. Check every chapter's, you know, your pages. Make sure your pages look right. When you're done with that, go to your every table of contents, left click, right click, update field, update page numbers. Next chapter, same thing, left click, right click, update field, put in your page numbers. What's the table of contents good for if it has wrong numbers? Then go to your master table of contents, left click, right click, and update field, update your page numbers. Oops, here comes the music. We know what time that is. Grab the, sp the split bar, hold down the left mouse, drag it all the way down. Let's turn on and turn off our paragraph markers and look what we have. There's a title page, our master table of contents formatted the way we want, and our per chapter tables of contents blending in nicely and looking scare frighteningly professional. Well there you go, that is how you format an in-chapter table of contents. I thank you all very much and as usual, enjoy!